Welcome back lottery fans and fall has finally arrived that's right we've had a really fantastic summer weather's been great here at least but now we're into fall uh, I'm a little bit sad because I love summer but I know a lot of you just love fall everyone's favorite season seems to be fall that I seem to speak to me at summer but I know everyone's excited that fall is here and of course with fall arriving it's time to go ahead and do our group numbers for fall uh, so that we have these uh, a set of numbers that we can all play for fall. For those of you that haven't done group numbers before, basically what I do is whenever there's a uh, special date or or a special event, I like to go ahead and do a rundown, especially for that uh, that date or that event. Uh, pull out some numbers that we can all go ahead and play together. The idea being that if we all play these numbers, then some of the states are going to win, and we'll all be able to celebrate winning of those numbers. And of course, fall is a pretty significant event, and you know any season changing is a pretty significant event. So I always do a group number change for. Uh, the actual uh, season's changing. We'll do one for winter when it comes up. But today we're going to be doing our fall. Uh, we're going to be doing the pick three for the fall numbers today. And tomorrow we'll go ahead and we'll do the pick four numbers for fall. Uh, we're going to be using our standard tic-tac-toe rundown worksheet that you can get for free for downloading at lotterypredicts.com in the resources section. The link down below is in the description. Uh, and of course, this these numbers are going to be good for uh, all states or all countries that have a pick three lottery. So there's no specific state or country. So anyone can play these if you've got a pick three or a pick four lottery. And I said this is going to be for fall or autumn, depending on how you describe it. All right, and as of course, as it's fall, I figured I'd go ahead and just for these videos, I'll, I'll change up the markers. Normally we use a red, uh, red and a black marker. Today I'm going to be using a brown and an orange because uh, those are pretty fall colors. So I figured I might as well go and switch up that. Just a little bit of variety for today. I want to say a quick thank you though to everyone that's been watching the 10 winning rundowns for 10 states in 10 days. Uh, just got through shooting that video series. Phenomenal, amazing rundowns. Uh, a huge amount of views, huge amounts of likes, comments. Thank you so much for all of that. Uh, and of course, uh, those of you that saw the number one state, uh, you know that was a first for Lottery Predictor. I was uh, super pumped and super excited to be able to do that rundown. So definitely go and check those out. But if your state didn't come up, these are probably the numbers you want to start playing now uh, because, as I said, these are good for all countries and all states. So uh, whenever I do this, uh, I always like to go ahead and pick a number as our base number that's related to the event or the date that we're working with. Uh, so what I've gone and done is I went ahead and took the, took the word fall and I put it into the Lottery Predictor Dream Translator and pulled out the pick three number for fall. For those of you who haven't used the pick three Dream Translator before, uh, the Lottery Predictor Dream Translator, rather. Basically, it's a really fun app that you can go to on lotterypredictor.com, put in any word you have, you know, a word that you've dreamed about or the word that you've seen a lot of, and you want to play the number related to it, and it'll convert that number, uh, that word, into uh, pick three, pick four, and pick five numbers for you. So you can go ahead and play that. Uh, but the number for fall is actually a 115. Now, uh, for our rundown, the actual rundown we're going to use, we're going to use the same rundown that did so well uh, for our number one state in the video series we just finished. Uh, and that was the anti-clockwise uh, counting up pattern. Uh, super simple to do, but as I said, it was it was so phenomenally hot for uh, our, our ten, 10 rundowns for 10 states that we're going to go ahead and use it again for this rundown. So we'll start by putting that 115 from top left to bottom right in our base grid. And then we're going to take that five in the bottom right and we'll count up in an anti-clockwise manner, filling in all the blank spots on the base grid tic-tac-toe worksheet here. So we'll start with five, go to six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, and once we get to nine, we don't go to ten, we start back again at zero. So we'll put a zero there and then a one there. And that fills out our base grid there. Now, to get our translated grid, we're going to go ahead and use the mirror numbers, and those are on the bottom of this rundown worksheet here. What we do is we take each, each individual number, we look along the top line here for that number, the number underneath it is the mirror number. So we'll start with 1. So the mirror num what number underneath 1 is a 6, so that's the 6 there. The number 1 is 6. 8, 8 underneath is 3, so 3 goes there. 7, 7 underneath is 2, so a 2 goes there. 9 is 4. 1 is 6. 6 is 1, 0 is 5, 1 is 6, and finally 5 is 0, like so. Now in terms of the pattern we're going to go ahead and use, uh, 
I, I said when I do these group numbers I like to stick with the traditional patterns uh, no change here today we're going to go ahead and use our horizontal patterns and the reason I like it especially with this rundown uh, when we do a, a, a traditional rundown like this where we have one that goes uh, across all lines given the horizontal pattern gives us one number from each of the uh, from the base number so we'll take that we'll take these horizontal lines straight across here and from our base grid that will give us a 187 it'll give us a 916 and a 015 then we'll go ahead and we'll take exactly the same numbers from our same pattern rather from our translated grid horizontally straight across like that that will give us a 632 a 461 and finally a 560 and there we have it. Those are the six numbers that we're going to go ahead and play for our group numbers for fall. Uh, so fall is, what, three months uh, till we get to winter all the way in December. So feel free to, free to play these numbers as little or as much as you like during fall. Completely up to you. As always, be sensible how much you play. Uh, but definitely you can play them every day if you want or you can play them just every every few days or once a week completely up to you but definitely if the, if you hit off these numbers or they hit in your state leave me a comment below down below in the description uh sorry in the comments section uh so we can all uh, celebrate that if you like these group number videos definitely give me a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel share this video out with other lottery players uh and as i said i'll be back tomorrow with our pick four group numbers for fall uh but until then good luck and i'll catch you in the next one bye